Chapter 5 The Web Nula dozed beside me, but I was too fitful to follow suit. Every noise made me start, from the slam of a car door to the rush of juices in Nula's belly. And then, very clearly, I heard, Not long now, we're almost through. I'd known all along that the sounds were voices, not breezy indiscretions in the pipes, but hearing complete sentences rather than snatches helped cement my conviction. I rose and dressed quietly, not knowing what I was intending to do. Outside, a stiff wind was pushing a tide of filth before it down Dartmouth Park Hill. Dust, plastic bottles, empty tins, twists of paper. There was even what looked like a dead shrew in there, but it was enveloped by all the other bits of grime before I could be sure. It snagged around the wooden hoardings and whispered there, a strange convolvulus daring me to do what I didn't know I'd already decided upon. Warm light flooded from Nula's bedroom window. I ducked out of sight till her shape had diminished in front of it. At least, I hoped it was Nula's shape. I really didn't want to have to explain my mad behaviour to her. There was a padlock on the door that would have let me through the hoarding, so instead I climbed over the spiked iron railings at the side of the house, the corner of which marked the beginnings of Wyndham Crescent. 